Hello fellow junk collectors, stuff lovers, and kids at heart. My name's Charlie and I'm the Offbeat Collector. And today I'm going to show you all the Wildcats in my Beanie Baby collection. And I showed off this giant Beanie Boo in my last cat video. And her name is Glamour in case you've forgotten. And today I'm going to show you all the ones that look like they should be in her family. So let's get into it. Okay guys, we're gonna start with the lions, get into the tigers, and then into the oh my's. So first we have this, one of the, you know, almost original, you could say, floppy styled Beanie Babies. This is Rory the lion, the cute little furry nose. And then the next type of lion that we have is the 2000 millennium, He's actually missing his tag. Let's get his twin brother. Um, the 2000 shiny millennium tags. This is Bushy the lion. So that's a big evolution from a classic looking lion to a brightly colored fire beast is kind of what that looks like to me. And then we'll get into the Beanie Boo lions. Um, we've got this big golden eyed guy. His name is Louie. And then we have this guy with this perfect bushy golden mane. His name is Louie. Wow. So, as I mentioned in one of my other Beanie Baby videos, Ty does seem to recycle a lot of names. And you can definitely tell that in this case that's true because these are both Louie the Lion. And they are clearly not the same plush, but... Oh well, I don't, I don't think they mind sharing a name. I'm sure it doesn't bother them too much. Uh, this is Ramsey, and Ramsey just has fantastic rainbow mane going on here. Uh, I want to say I have this one as a unicorn version somewhere too, and I'm wondering if this one's supposed to have the unicorn horn and someone removed it because I got this at a thrift store, but... Either way, he's cute. He can live with all the other lions. He doesn't mind. Now let's get into the tigers. Let's start with these adorable Beanie Boo tigers. Um, which, they call them Beanie Babies on the tag, but I mean, let's face it, these are Beanie Boos. Look at those eyes. That's not a Beanie Baby. That's a Beanie Boo if I ever saw one. Uh, this one, let's see, the tush tag has a scribble through it. So this one is Tundra. And this beautiful pink thing is Tabor. Tundra and Tabor. So I'm going to say they're like brother and sister. Look at them. They're like perfect little twins. Very cute little guys. Next, let's do some original floppy Beanie Baby style. We have, I believe it's... I don't want to be wrong. Blizzard. <laughs> Blizzard is the white tiger with the blue eyes. One of those original floppy beanie babies. And then we have the golden version. And this one's name is Stripes. So you can definitely tell they, they use the same kind of design there. But I mean, who doesn't love seeing regular tigers and white tigers when they go to the zoo? So of course they had to make them both even if they are super similar. Um, here comes a fancier white tiger. Check this guy out. He is just absolutely adorable. This is Tundra. Didn't we just have someone named Tundra? I'm telling you, Ty recycles a lot of names, guys. Um, which is fine. But, I mean, there's a lot of names. You think they could be making a little more originality. I guess they know us true collectors don't really care. We'll keep buying them. Uh, next we have Roomba. Um, wow, Roomba the Tiger. What a nice, it's a nice name. I guess maybe maybe he's a dancer. Maybe he does the Roomba. I don't know. How do you do the Roomba as a tiger? I don't know. Roomba? I don't know. Either way, cute guy. And then check out this beautiful Beanie Buddy Tiger. Oh, I love him so much. I found him in a thrift store for $4, and I was so excited. His name is India. This guy, like, it just doesn't do him justice to even see him on camera. Like, he's so cute. He's just, I feel like 
I feel like if he was a realistic looking cat, not a realistic looking tiger, but he could definitely be a real cat. I mean, look at him. He's just fantastic. Like, I love this guy. Definitely one of my favorite cats in my collection. So we've seen the lions, we've seen the tigers. Now it's time for the oh my's. So for the wild cats here, besides lions and tigers, we are gonna start with this Freckles the Leopard. I believe this is the first wild cat that I got when I was collecting way back in the mid 90s. And I just, that makes it have a soft spot in my heart. So I love Freckles. He's definitely the inspiration for all the modern day leopards. And I just, I absolutely love them. I, I love how instead of just a couple spots, like they really, really go all out with the leopard spots. Like they put them everywhere. And here is a updated 2000 millennium version of the leopard. This is sneaky. And I mean, he looks like he could be a sneaky, right? I could see him sneaking around and getting into trouble. Um, next we have another original floppy Beanie Baby. I just, I love this original style, the Beanie Babies. I mean, they made the bears sit up and look fancy, but they made these floppy little guys. I think that's why people first fell in love with them, because they just, they seem so playful. Who doesn't want to play with a beautiful little plush when they're a kid? And this is Velvet. I believe Velvet is a Black Panther. Very nice looking little guy. And then we have another floppy friend. Um, I want to say this guy is like a mountain lion. His name is Canyon. So that, that sounds right. Canyon sounds like the perfect name for a mountain lion, right? So definitely another adorable wild cat. Next we have Buckwheat. How cute is this guy? He's just a little desert wild cat with the fluffy tips on his ears. He's just absolutely adorable. I love him. And then, now we're going to get into Glamour's family. You saw the large, extra large, really, version of Glamour in the beginning of the video. And this is Glamour's mini-me. And then my next biggest leopard, almost too big to fit because I've got the phone so close to me. Um, this Beanie Buddy-sized Beanie Boo. This is Dottie. Very Lisa Frank coloring. I mean, just look at that. It just gives you all the Lisa Frank feels. And then I do have the mini version or a regular size version of Dottie. So those are the Dottie twins, big and mini. And then we have Leona. Leona is the blue version. She's got a hole in her, but like I said, if I find them beat up, but I don't have them yet, I'm still going to pick them up. I, I go to a lot of thrift stores that have Beanie Babies for 50 cents, and I'm not going to deny one from joining my collection because it has a little hole. So the blue is Leona, and then this purple is Glamour. They reused the name again. Do they think no one would notice? Because there's... I mean, do they think nobody buys multiples? Nobody learns the names of the cats? They can't even get more than one name for a Beanie Boo Leopard. <sighs> anyway, so this is Glamour again. <laughs> and then we have Reagan. So this is at least is a different kind of name. This one looks more like an actual kitten than a wild cat leopard, but it's got the spots like the leopard. So I figured it should be included in that pile. Cute little pink and purple and blue Reagan. Looks like no, it looks like a pink cat that got into some paint. Still cute. And then we have another leopard. And this one is Lainey. So Lainey and Leona. I guess maybe they're twins or sisters. What do you think? Lainey and Leona. I like those names together. They look good together. They both got green spots. They could be from the same family. I think so. And then I've just got two more left over here. Next we have Patches. Not a very original name for a leopard um, <laughs> because those aren't patches, those are spots. But still a super cute Beanie Boo. Can't deny that. And my last 
oddity, I would say, is not just a beanie boo, this is a peekaboo. So this is a phone holder and you put the little phone on his little feet and he holds it and peeks over it and just peekaboo. That's a little weird, right? Um, <laughs> but he's cute. He's cute. Uh, so once again, if I don't have it and it's cheap and it can join my collection, I get it. So I do have like three or four of these phone holders and I think one or two of the larger tablet holders. But yeah, that's all my Wildcats. Um, if you enjoyed this video, boop the like button and make sure you subscribe because there's lots more coming. Until next time, guys. Bye.